Hello everyone, my name is Serena and I'm a third year student in computational mathematics. Welcome to the AMATH Pick Your Plan video and today we're here with Professor Sue Ann Campbell. Hi Sue Ann. Hi Serena, it's nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, I'm a professor in the Department of Applied Mathematics and I'm the Associate Chair for Undergrad Studies and also the advisor for um, Applied Math students. Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, so the first question I have for you today is, can you describe what uh, Applied Mathematics is about? Yeah, Applied Mathematics is about using mathematics to understand real world problems. So we like to start with a real world problem and uh, turn that into a mathematical problem. And then we use mathematical analysis and computational tools to understand the mathematical problem and then try and use that to understand the original. So what do you wish students would know uh, before choosing applied mathematics as their major? So one thing I always tell students, uh, if you want to choose applied mathematics as your major, you should really like calculus because we use calculus a lot. So if you love calculus, it's a great major for you. It's also a great major if you really like math and science. So we look at problems in science. So if you like science as well, it's a great major for you. So what, would, uh, what do you love about this field? Um, and what is this exciting about AMATH? Even though I know it's like calculus and science is a big part of AMATH. I really like the diversity because we do mathematical analysis, so pen pencil and paper solving problems, but we also do computational things like I solve problems on my computers and then always underlying that we have this connection to real world problems that we're trying to understand. So even in our courses, some of them are more math analysis focused and some of them more computational analysis and then in later years, there are courses that are focused on the applications. So um, you have a chance to explore all three. Sounds good. Um, as a co-op student, I know the next question would be really related to us. What types of career can be pursued with this major? It's really, it's really all over the place because, because of the diversity that we do. Um, so students get grounding in the mathematical tools and computational tools, which is great for lots of different um, areas, and as well as under learning how to model and learning how to translate real world problems. Um, in the past, students have gone into communications field, um, the energy sector, and now more into sort of health technology area is another big area. Um, and some recent grads, I'm just thinking that, you know, students I talked to, one went to a management consulting firm and another one went to NVIDIA in California, which is a, a tech company. So a lot depends on student interest, what kinds of um, electives you take, and of course, what kind of co-op jobs you do, but really lots of different opportunities. Yeah, um, so my last question is, how is applied mathematics different from mathematical physics? Yeah, so mathematical physics is like putting a half or more of a physics degree on top of your applied math degree. So it's a very intense program. You're taking math and physics all the time. Um, applied math, you, you focus more on the math and you have more options for your uh, electives. And you can choose instead of saying, I just want to think about how applying math to physics, maybe you're more interested in biology or economics. You can think about that in terms of your electives taking courses in those areas. And if you're really interested in a particular area, we have specializations. So you could do a specialization, say in economics, where you take a lot of economics courses to complement your applied math courses. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. So that's a question from me today. And thank you for watching this video, and I hope to see you around at Waterloo at a math apartment. Thank you very much, Serena. It was lovely to talk with you today, and um, yeah, I hope to see many people in applied math in the future.